show you our apartment. Hey, my name is Dope. I live on the Upper East Side at this pretty dope spot. We pay about 1500 in rent, which is a steal uh, for the place you're gonna see, so uh, come on in. The cool thing about our building is our landlord put in some electronic locks recently um, that work with Bluetooth. And that works great when I have my phone on me, um, but there's been like a couple times that I'm at like 1% battery and like rushing home at 4 a.m. Right as you enter the apartment and this kitchen that I share with the three other college friends that I live with in this apartment, we all try to cook a little bit and like split up time in terms of who gets to cook when. What's really crazy for New York is that we have this dishwasher right here. You don't see that a lot. This is like a thing to show off. Like when we have friends over, it's like, hell yeah, I have a dishwasher in New York. Other thing, this is a little excessive. We got a wine cooler. We don't even drink a lot of wine, so I don't know what we use this for, but it just looks really dope. So it's pretty nice. This is our apartment. Over here we got some bar stools, uh, the kitchen area, stove, sink. Our and here is our laundry room. All right, welcome to my bedroom. I guess you could say uh, this is where the magic happens. It's not too big, it's pretty cozy. Uh, you're not gonna find a lot of big bedrooms in New York, so I'm lucky with what I have here. I really wish I had space for a desk or something, um, but I kind of like make do with this like bookshelf as like a standing desk. If you can't tell already from the guitar on the wall and like all the other stuff, really into music, so this also doubles as my home studio sometimes. I just kind of like uh, put my mic in the closet to kind of soundproof and uh, put my laptop here and record music too sometimes. I also have like nice access to uh, the fire escape outside. It's been a dream of mine to serenade a lady out there. Still hasn't happened, looking for the right one, but maybe someday. One of my favorite things in the room is uh, the wall of album art I have up here. It's one of my, my favorite albums every day wake up, that's the first thing I see. I can kind of just like throw on one of those albums in the morning as I'm getting ready for work. Make do with what I got. Here's the bedroom. Still a nice view of the city and the freeway. Got the TV over here. This is our bathroom. Some his and her sinks. Nice wide mirror. Nice brown rugs with a black shower curtain. Spacious bathtub. Warning, the bathroom's kind of small. It's like not what you expect in like most places, especially like somewhere in like the Midwest or the South. In New York, it's, it's really small. This is what you get, you know? Everything's kind of cramped together. It's also not just mine. I share it with, uh, with one other person, constantly competing for shower time in the morning. We're trying to make it work and uh, it's not too bad. The living room right here. We all kind of like hang out here, eat together when possible, or just kind of like get some work done. We have that exposed brick right here. Definitely a staple of any hipster vibe in any New York apartment. There's an extra bedroom uh, in this apartment that we kind of converted into a living room. So we got our couch here, we have our TV, got some video games. This is where like, we all hang out, we have people over. We're supposed to fit comfortably in this couch, like five or six people, but we've had like 15, 20 people in here before we squeezed in, we make it work. We got the climbing chair, nice comfortable couch, glass table, TV with a PS4 and some video games. One of the most surprising things about this apartment, again, you don't find this in New York that often, is we got a backyard. In the summer, we've had some parties before, sometimes projected movies on that wall. Uh, here we got the balcony with a lovely view of a vacant lot. The kind of weird thing about our apartment is we have this like giant beautiful window here in our dining room. It stares right at a brick wall with like no sunlight, so that's like kind of typical of New York. So if you come in here, it's the fitness room. Got some treadmills, got the freeways going on, get some muscle action, a little bicycle but it makes it look like you're biking somewhere so you don't get bored while you're exercising. Motivates you to put in those miles. Right here is the yoga studio slash rehearsal space. No one's in here. Going into here, you can see this, this small area right here. So go right here. This is our gym, this is what we have. We have our pull-up bar. Take it down, do some push-ups, do some pull-ups. We don't really have a gym in this apartment building or anything, so like, this is what we got, cheapest gym membership. This is our pool area, bam. 
We actually have two floors in this apartment. Uh, two of our bedrooms are upstairs. The other two guys live downstairs. And this is where it gets really special. Again, New York, you don't see this all the time. We have our own laundry and dryer. This is what we show people. When people visit us and people come over, this is how we impress them. So lucky to have this apartment in New York for 1500. It's like super rare to get that washer dryer, the dishwasher, and although it's not a lot of space, like just four guys and we have a lot of people over frequently, we, we make it work and we have a pretty good time. So thanks again for checking it out and uh, hope to see you in New York. Thanks for checking out our apartment. If you live in Houston, you can get great amenities, tons of space, and live stress-free. Bye!